Hi everybody, this is Chloe Hudson with World Peace Projects. Thank you for joining me. So I will be attending my friend Vikings podcast this Thursday, January 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you would like to tune in, I'll leave the link below. In this video, I want to focus on the ability to hold your ground. And what I mean by this is when we register that everything in our life is our responsibility. And on the flip side of that, because we know that everything we do, say, think, feel is our choosing, it's our manifestation, it's our creation. We therefore know that anything that anybody else does, says, feels, creates, that's their responsibility. So in regard to this video, I'm specifically tuning into when you take something personal or when somebody does something or says something or acts in a way that has the potential to light you up, to upset you. Another way of saying it is that you grab onto their energy and you own it as your own when it had nothing to do with you. Even when somebody is talking about you, whatever they're bringing forth really has nothing to do with you. It's about them, it's their world, it's their perception of you. So really all they've done is they've overlaid themselves onto their beliefs about you. So in a way of looking at this, I'm gonna explain it, how I tend to see it energetically. So when I'm in my own space, I've got my auric sphere pulled in three feet around my body, or maybe it's expanded wherever it, com it comfortably sits. I'm grounded down, I'm anchored into earth, and I'm anchored up into the galactic central sun because I know that's the only way that I can be fully present moment. I'm in my body, I'm in my energy. I'm going about my day and somebody comes up to me, maybe it's a, a stranger on the street and they're having a really bad day and they say something extremely offensive to me. Now, I have a few options here. I could be like many unconscious people and I could instantly react. If I react to something they bring forth to me, that means I've grabbed their energetic frequency that they've shot out of their energy field at me. So in that moment that I react, I've chosen to open up my energy and let it in. And then it's gonna stick to me like gack or like glue or gum. And then I'm going to own that and I'm going to take in that negative frequency and I'm just going to wear it and I'm going to shift my frequency to match that negative frequency. And I'm probably going to respond or retort back. Even if I don't say anything, I'm going to chew on it in my energetics and my emotions and I'm going to wear it for a while. This is very uncomfortable. I don't like doing this. We've all done this. And when you do it, it can be difficult to get it back out of your energetic field. So when this happens, the reason I grabbed that energy is because for some reason I relate to that frequency. So the symbolic uh, physical uh, representation of this would be like if I'm dehydrated, um, my body is going to hold on to toxins a lot more easily. I'm not fluid. My blood isn't flowing as thoroughly. My toxins are building up. If I'm hydrated, liquid is running through me, things are going to flush out. I'm going to feel a lot better and I'm going to move through my day in a much more swift, energetic way. So your detachment and your sovereign independence and your energy is spirit hydration, if you will. It's energetic hydration. And because of this, when you're hydrated, your, your energy is slick, it's fluid. So if something sticky comes at you, it's just gonna slide right off. It's not gonna attach. But if you're not spiritually hydrated, you're gonna be sticky. You're gonna grab on, and that energetics that comes forth to you is gonna much more easily hook into you. Just like a spider web. If a fly flies by a spider web and it gets stuck in that net, that's the same thing as somebody throwing their energy at you and it gets stuck. And now what do you do? It's going to take a while to unwind it, untangle it. So this perspective helps me in regard to staying neutral and detached from people's energy. Because sometimes when you try to 
look at it emotionally, it's really difficult to stay detached and neutral because we can all relate to a bad day. We can all relate to being in a, in a, a nasty mood or saying something offensive. We can relate to it as the aggressor and we can relate to it as the victim. So when we come from that angle, it can be a little bit more tedious to stay detached because we, we've been there. So sometimes we immediately go back there because it's a comfortable experience. It's not something that we want to have, but we've been in it before, so we know what that is. If I look at it energetically like this, it's a lot easier for me to, instead of processing their really nasty comment or energy or whatever it is that easily I might get upset about or take offense to, if I see it more as an energy shooting at me and I can kind of energetically block it and know that has nothing to do with me, I protect my space a lot more thoroughly. And then what happens energetically is when they shoot an energy at you and you immediately block it or it bounces off your energy field, it instantly refracts back onto them. They're not going to like that because that's instant karma. They have to immediately take back in what they just put out. Many people feel that instantly. They might not be clear consciously of what just happened. They might not know that that person held their energy ground, so they basically mirrored back to them their own energy. And just like it would feel if you had have absorbed that energy, it's nasty, they get hit with their own energy that's nasty. They don't like it any more than you do. So this might upset them further. It depends on their consciousness. They might get upset even further and lash at you again, or they might register, you know, oh, that was my bad. I feel that, you know, cowering and walk away or whatever it is. But either way, whatever they do, that's their thing. It's not yours. So protect your energy by registering that anything that comes at you is not about you. Now, if it penetrates you and you feel it and it, you're, ah, oh, that hooked me, that really pissed me off, that really upset me, that really got me, that really hurt my feelings, whatever it is, get real gentle with yourself real quick. At least this is what I do. Because now it's moved into me, I'm feeling vulnerable, I'm feeling exposed, and I might be shifting into victim right now because I don't like the energy that I'm starting to wear. So bubble it. Go in there just like you'd, you'd coddle a child. Grab that energy, find compassion for it, and, and, and release it. And first have compassion for yourself for taking that on. It's okay, we've done it all the time. You did it again, Chloe. You, you, you took offense to something that has nothing to do with you. That's their energy. I don't have to own their energy, but now it's affecting me. So now I'm going to get real compassionate on my, to myself about this. And I'm going to grab this energy and I'm going to visualize coddling it and I'm going to pull it out with a violet flame and I'm going to push it out. And I'm going to either give it back to them or I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to release this from my reality because I was perfectly fine before they came along. So there's no reason that they need to affect me so much like a leaf in the wind. Are we really that much of a victim that at any moment, anything somebody does can just blow us off kilter? No, we have the ability to stay strong and fortified in our energetics. And this is how you mirror and teach the people around you that they can do the same. They don't have to be affected by these nasty negative things. And when they take it on and own it, they just create future manifestations of that same energetics. So allow yourself to begin to hold space. Fortify your energy. This is the same way you protect yourself with psychic attack. In some form, you have to agree. You have to contractually agree to take on energy. You might be doing this unconsciously, subconsciously. That's how it goes. That's why we've been energetically enslaved for so long. But when you're a sovereign galactic citizen, you are conscious of your energetics. You take responsibility for what you manifest, create, take on. And that makes you responsible for anything that you feel and do. So while they throw an energy at you, and that's their thing, if you take it on, now it's your thing. Now you've taken responsibility for it, and now it's your responsibility to deal with it. 
So you can block it, you can stop it before it even comes into your field. I hope that's helped in some way. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.